Hi everyone, Kim here today. Um, this cult is a bit difficult to talk about, and I'm not going to say religion that is considered a cult. I know the, they consider themselves a religion. It is a cult. And it was really hard for me researching this because I'm like, how am I going to relay this information and still not violate YouTube's guidelines. So YouTube, if you're watching, just know I'm trying as hard as I can not to violate your, your guidelines. Um, today we're talking about <clears throat> children of God or the family. Um, David Brant Berg, a charismatic preacher, formed the children of God in 1968. Um, he believed the apocalypse was near and urged believers to survive on basic necessities by giving up their money and personal possessions to the group leaders. He also infamously taught God is love and love is relations. I guess it's the best way to put it. I'm sorry if I'm confusing viewers here. I do want to put out a cellophane warning that this could be one that's very upsetting to people. It's very hard for me to research it and um, and report on it. Um, now you have to remember 1968 California season of love um, free love um So, and this did happen in, I believe it was Huntington Beach, um, is where it started. Um, despite the accusations, the children of God continued to flourish for decades. Berg changed the cult's name to the Family of Love following the 1978 Jonestown mass suicide. And in 2004, the group became known as the Family International. Um, Berg based the Children of Love on a doctrine he preached called the Law of Love. Um, and the way that cult members were to be recruited was what he called the flirty fishing. So it's kind of like in the UPC where, you know, they were asking their people to flirt with, with possible recruits to bring them in so they could, you know, seal the deal. Um, female followers would proposition men to engage in, and the preacher's daughter later referred to the practice in her 1984 for biography, The Children of God, The Inside Story, as a worldwide um, illegal activity network. Um, I've watched documentaries on this cult um, over the years. Um, it's been a few years since I've watched any of them, but when you watch stuff like this, it just sticks with you. Um, and just, y'all know, this video is not made for children. I will not post it as being made for children. Um, the doctrine was meant to justify and conceive exploitation. Um, I'm not going to say what kind, but just exploitation. Um, and it led people to believe their body was not their own. You're supposed to give it up to God. Um, and it wasn't just... Um, the adults that um, participated in this. There were also minors. Um, and the law did catch up with Berg, but the cult kept growing. Um, 
1993, he was accused of S.A. his own daughters and granddaughters. Um, and he fled to Portugal and Interpol began to, an investigation into the cult leaders in Argentina. Um, he died in 1994 um, after the investigation started um, and his widow, Karen Zerby, remarried and she and her new husband, Steve Kelly, took over control and they continued. Um, in February of 2009, the couple proclaimed um, the reboot, that it was uncertain if Jesus Christ would be imminently returning to the group's 15,000 members and it's time to start thinking about the future. Um, now the 15,000 members, that is way lower today. Um, And even though the children of God still exist today, um, their numbers are like, or excuse me, they've gone down to 1,400 communes around the world because you're supposed to move into a commune after you give up all your possessions. Um, yeah, and as of 2010, um, People are claiming it's, it's like 1,500 members in 80 countries. So the group has really shrunk down member-wise, and that's a good thing. Um, and in 2019, the Family International has apologized on a number of occasions that the Fem Family International um, has caused hurt, real or perceived, perceived, sorry, um, and they don't give credence to um, some of the reports that have come out from children who were raised in that, that cult. Um, so, aside from the Family International or the Children of God, the group has also been known as Teens for Christ, the Family of Love, um, and, um, yeah, they just continue to go on and on, and they've been under strict attack, massive attack, by Parents Committee to Free and I'm sorry, I just, there's words I can't say without violating, um, you know, YouTube's guidelines. Um, so, In the early 70s, inspired by his apocalypticism, Berg's apocalypticism, um, members of, of the cult dressed in sackcloth clothes and conducted demonstrations denouncing America's abandonment of God. Um, in 74, Berg stated his goal was creating an organization composed entirely of full-time missionaries. Um, so, there were no... Um, and he led his followers to believe that they needed to free themselves from inhibitions and taboos. Um, and that in includes the flirty fishing um, and a lot of this yeah I just can't report on without um, getting in trouble with YouTube and I don't want to um, so we're going to talk about there were several celebrities who have been raised in the sect um, 
They're no longer members, but they were raised in it. One of them is Joaquin Phoenix, um, which leads me to believe that River Phoenix was probably also raised within the group. Um, and Rose McGowan, um, her children were um, were part of the group. Um, and, you know, Joaquin Phoenix, his family, his parents eventually left the group. So that was his out. So he's no longer a member. Um, and it's, it's just so sad about, um, cause I know like with the, the young women, I'm going to say like 11 to probably 16, they would perform music on stage and record records. And that was how one of the ways the group made money if they weren't getting new converts in to give everything they owned to the church. Um, or to the group. It's not a church. Um, I know they think of themselves as a church, but they're not. They're, um, so, and I'm sorry to lay such a heavy topic on you all on, on a Friday. So I hope you all have great plans for the weekend. And Monday, we will be talking about a much lighter group. Um, much lighter. Um, I haven't decided which one yet, but I have a list of like 17 of them that I've come across um, that I need to investigate or that I'm interested in that I think you'll be interested in. Um, so, yeah, again, this, this topic, this group was really hard to research and talk about. Um, not just because I didn't want to violate YouTube's guidelines, which I don't, but it's just, it's very, to believe that people, adults, would think this way, um, it's just really, really frustrating to think that there's people out there that, yeah, um, so, um, Monday I'm going to record a video and then Tuesday we're going to start going live. So if you have any thoughts on when we should go live, let me know. You know, leave it in the comments. I'll, I'll work the best way that I can to get things organized to record, to go live to suit the, the majority of the people who watch. Um, and also leave comments. Oh, I read all comments. I'll respond. Um, I love getting comments. Um, and yeah, just like and subscribe. Um, I'm not gonna ask you to share this one because it's it's pretty intimidating or upsetting. Um, so have a great weekend. Um, and I will see you all on Monday. Okay. Bye. Have a great weekend.